This is Houston businessman Jim McInvale. His customers know him as Mattress Mac. All right. When we spoke over FaceTime on Tuesday, Jim showed us how he turned his furniture store into a makeshift relief shelter. We got lots of beds, we got lots of food, we got water, and we can even bring your animals. So we welcome you. If you need a place to stay, we're opening up both buildings as shelters during this horrible time. It all began on Sunday when the floodwaters rolled in and Jim opened his doors to stranded Texans. Y'all say hello to the New York Times. He's housed hundreds of men, women, children, and pets since. I went to Catholic school and I'm a big believer that it's better to give than to take. During Hurricane Katrina, we housed 200 people here for two nights as a lot of New Orleans evacuees were in Houston. So this wasn't the first time we've done this. We're doing this because we're part of the community. This is Aaron Rodriguez. As the water level rose, he didn't know where to go. Ever since we got here, I feel like at home, this man opened up his store for us. The next one, it will be to get out and see what's left of our house and see what we have left there. The next step is I'm going to try to hire him. <laughs> He's right here. Georgie Osha Bex was evacuated with her two-month-old son. Um, the house, our house flooded. Man, my baby was walking in the rain. I was crying because, you know, I didn't want my baby to be sick, so I had to wrap him up in, like, five blankets. And I'm depressed, like, everything's just gone. Twelve years ago, Delisha Thomas fled Katrina in New Orleans and moved to Houston. She's a single mother with eight children. Um, the water was in the front room. It was, like, up to, like, past my ankles. And my furniture was floating around. Yeah. And like on the outside of the house, the water was like up to our, our waist. I don't, I don't know where I'm going from here, because I don't know if I can even go back to my house. But I just wanted to make sure that me and my kids didn't drop. Yeah. That yeah, we didn't drown now. That's all. Seventeen-year-old Yanni Baines is Delisha's oldest. It's really hard to sleep, like, not being home, not being safe, just out in the open. It's hard to sleep, it's hard to get some rest. And, I mean, there's food and stuff, but it's just not the same as being home, you know? Yeah, we're also in the same area. We have these six mattresses right here. Jim's employees don't mind working late shifts to help out. It's so heartwarming to see that when push comes to a shove and you li we're living into a city where, uh, where everybody can come together, regardless of what uh, race, creed, or color, you can come together and help one another. And that's what it's all about. I would say within seven to 10 days, most of them will be gone. A lot of them are, uh, uh, you know, they want to get back home. And, uh, God, who could blame them? Not having business for six days, obviously it hurts the cash flow, but we'll be all right. And if they can be happy and positive going through what they've been through, a little business setback won't, won't set us back. We'll be fine in the long term, and that's all that matters.